Hi, I'm Steph from Cruise with Amber. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you around a Sea View Superior Double aboard Havila Voyages Havila Castor. If you want to find out more about all the cabins on Havila Voyages, then check out my Ultimate Cabin Guide. Details in the description below. The cabin I'm going to be showing you around today is on Deck 5, Cabin 5119, and it's located at the front of the ship on the starboard side. This cabin is very conveniently located close to the atrium. This Seaview Superior Double is one of 74 of these cabins on board ship. The decor in this cabin is very Nordic, relaxing and calming. At 15 metres square the cabin felt quite spacious and there was lots of floor space to move around. The window left in lots of light and this cabin definitely felt quite airy and spacious. I'm usually a balcony girl and I do like to have some exterior space in my cabin. However, this picture window was perfect for staring out at the ever-changing scenery with a hot cup of coffee in the morning. Despite all the furniture in the cabin such as a chair, sofa and a small table, it didn't feel cluttered. I did like these Nordic style coat hooks which were very useful for hanging up your coats and jackets. The desk area was just about the right size and there's a small drawer underneath to keep everything tidy. Above the desk you'll find two plug sockets and these are standard European plug sockets which accept a Northern Europe adapter and there are also two USB sockets above the desk. One of the interesting features on this telephone is the Northern Lights button. Press this button to be notified in your cabin when the Northern Lights are spotted by the bridge. You can also order room service directly from your cabin by scanning the QR code, and there is a small charge for room service items delivered to your cabin. You won't find any paper copies of a daily program aboard Havila Voyages, but all the information you need is contained on these screens. There's a small sofa area in the corner of the cabin. I didn't use this that much, but it was quite comfortable to sit on. This small asymmetric table is also quite useful and you can move it around quite easily within the cabin. There are two reading lights, one either side of the double bed, and there are also switches to control the main lighting in the cabin. One of the things I did like was this quite subdued lighting strip at the back of the bed. Also next to the bed you'll find two USB sockets now onto the main storage area within the cabin. In the cupboard you'll find a single wardrobe with short hanging space. Underneath this short hanging space is the mini fridge. However it's interesting to note that there's no safe in this cabin so that's one thing to bear in mind. One of the things I did like about this storage space was the retractable door handles. Underneath the small shelf you'll find some further cupboard space. I wasn't sure about what to use this for but I tended to find it was useful to store my shoes and boots and also my carry-on case. It's also worth noting that there is space underneath the bed to store additional cases. Above the shelf you'll find some small cupboard space. I didn't use this too much but in here you'll find an extra pillow and also the hairdryer. And I was pretty impressed with the hairdryer, it was quite powerful. You'll also find some tea and coffee making facilities in your cabin and next to it you'll find a further two plug sockets. I really like these Havila Voyages branded mugs. A selection of organic teas is available but you can ask your cabin steward if you prefer different choices. If you're interested in what's included in the Havila Gold Package welcome pack in your cabin, well this is what you get. There are some chocolates, some crisps, a reusable water bottle and a small bottle of carver. And you also receive a Havila Voyages pin. So let's explore the rest of the cabin. On the door you'll find all of the emergency instructions that you need and the temperature and light controls are located on the door near the bathroom. 
so let's explore more of the bathroom now. The bathroom is more of a shower room and actually it's more of a wet room rather than having an enclosed shower cubicle. One thing to be wary of is that if you are taking a shower and seas are choppy, then be prepared for some of the water to move around in the bathroom. And my tip is to hang clothes and towels up, don't leave them on the floor. The bathroom is compact yet a perfect size and quite well designed. The shower was a great size and there was always piping hot water available, plus the shower was very powerful. Also in the bathroom was one plug socket which was located near the storage area on the vanity space. Complimentary toiletries were also available. This was a very cosy and comfortable cabin to stay in on board. Thanks very much for joining me in this short tour around a Seaview Superior double cabin. Why don't you watch one of these videos next?